there is something called a trifecta in U.S. government. Those are states where Democrats hold both chambers of the legislature and the governor's mansion. States where Democrats won't need to negotiate with people who want to abolish the IRS or hunt down Italian satellites. In total, there are now 17 states with Democratic trifectas. That's up from just six in 2017. But the states worth really focusing on here are the four states where Democrats just won their trifecta this year. They are all M states, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, and Maryland. Republicans held at least one piece of the governing trifecta in each of these states for years. But now, with the swearing in of Governor Wes Moore, all of the state legislators and governors for those states have been sworn in and those Democratic trifectas are complete. And now Democrats in those states can really get to work. In Maryland, Governor Moore and the legislature have already laid out their top priorities, increasing the minimum wage to $15 an hour, codifying the right to an abortion, and gun safety regulation. Not a peep, by the way, about Italian satellites. Legislators in Massachusetts are already planning to file at least two dozen gun safety bills as early as this week. In Michigan, Democratic legislators have introduced bills to repeal the state's anti-union right-to-work law, to repeal the state's zombie abortion ban from 1931, and to expand civil rights protections to include sexual orientation and gender identity. In Minnesota, Democratic legislators are working on legislation to protect the right to abortion, to legalize marijuana, to allow undocumented immigrants to get driver's license, and to require Minnesota utilities to move to 100 percent clean electricity by the year 2040. I know, we all know, things in Washington are a circus right now. And for the moment, that is all they are. The state level is where the real governing is really happening. Democrats have two years in power, at least. So what can they get done?